We'll guide you through how to fix an iPad that's not charging. You can follow this whether it's an iPad mini, a pro, or a normal iPad, it doesn't matter. And also your iPad may be completely out of battery like mine, or it may still have some, but it's still not charging. So you've got some different fixes you can try, make sure it's this entire guide. So if you find this useful and it solves your problem, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This is really annoying as you're then unable to go and use it potentially, or it's gonna run out and then you can't use it. So for the first fix, you want to go and grab its charging cable. So what you want to do is go and inspect it and make sure it's in good, good condition as the cable will be damaged, which is why it isn't working. So a great way to go and test this is by using it with another device, or you can try getting another charging cable and try using it on this iPad here. If that still doesn't work, you should go and check the power block and any adapter you're using as well, as this could be the problem with it. So you can try using a different one, or what I find the best thing to do is just to go and remove the cable from the plug and you can go and plug it into a computer because then you're definitely gonna know that it's not to do with the outlet itself, the adapter or another adapter connected to it. So try connecting it to a computer and hopefully it will then go and charge. Otherwise, the best thing to do is to go and get a replacement cable. So if that still doesn't solve the problem, the next thing you need to do is you need to go onto the bottom of the iPad and you want to go and inspect the charging port just here. So a lot of the times it can be a problem with this here because over time, when you go and put your iPad into different bags and different things, it's going to go and start collecting debris and fabric and amongst other things in the charging port itself. So what you want to do is if you go and see anything in there is you want to go and get a soft brush or a toothpick and be very gentle and go remove anything that can be going and stopping the connectors from working correctly. What you can also do is try blowing in there as well to go and remove any dust because often that'll go and clear it and hopefully go and solve the problem. Do be very careful with this as it is very delicate. So do this at your own risk. And then what you can try doing is you want to go and inspect the cable you're using as well, which is why it's worth using a different one as often stuff can get in there, which then goes and blocks the connections. So essentially go and just go and check the contacts where things are actually charging because often they're gonna be the problem, which is why it isn't working. So after you've gone and cleared them, what you want to do is we can go and put the charger back together and you can go and try charging it again. So let me go and plug this back in here and then you can plug it back in. Once again, if you can't go and use this, try using a computer or try using it anyway because it could be a problem with that there. And then what we can do is we can go and plug this in and we can go and test it again. If it's still not charging, then the next thing you want to try doing is you're just going to go and unplug it for now. So what it may be is some type of software problem. So to go and try fixing this, we're going to go and do a forced restart because it may just be stuck on there, even though there is some charge. So to go and do this, we can actually use the buttons in order to go and refresh this and restart things. So first of all, you want to come onto the top right to so make sure you've got the power button at the top onto the right and you've got the volume rockers here as well. And then what you're going to do is go and press the upper volume button, this one here, then the lower one and tap and hold the side power button. Now you want to go and keep this held down I'd say go and keep it held down for a good 20 seconds, just because it may go and take a bit of time for things to go and refresh. You can go and see this screen here, but do just go and keep it held down. And you're going to know something that's going to go and happen because you'll go and see the Apple icon and that shows the iPad is then booting. So it's been around 20 seconds now and nothing's happened. So what we're gonna do is go and release like so. So the next thing you want to try doing is we're going to try plugging it back in. So you want to go and grab the charging cable once again, go and plug it into a power source for the other end, whether you go and plug it into a wall adapter or you can go and plug it into a computer. If you're unsure which one's working, you can always do this with both. And then what we're gonna do is go and repeat that. So let's go and press the volume increase, decrease, and then hold down the power button. Once again, hold it down for around 20 seconds. Nothing may go and change initially, but what we're gonna be looking for is that when the Apple icon then appears, as that's a sign that the iPad is then starting again. So let's go and keep this held down. And it's almost been 20 seconds. Screen is still black, no Apple icon. So yeah, this in this case, it's not going to go and solve it this time. So what you can then do is go and release. Now what you want to do is go and unplug it again. Now the next thing you want to do is if you've got any case on the iPad is to go and remove it. Now what you want to do is just come onto the back of the iPad and you want to go and feel it. If it's feeling really warm, what you want to do is go and let it cool down. It could be some sort of a problem where the iPad's too hot, which is why it's not working. That's quite unlikely. Usually you're gonna feel it and it's gonna feel normal or cold. 
And what's going to happen is the battery, some for some reason, needs some heat to sort of get it moving again and activated. I'm not quite sure the term is. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and warm up the iPad. So the best way I've found of doing this is by using a hairdryer. So what you want to do is go and get a hairdryer and you want to start hair drying it. People say for around a minute they found which is what's worked best and what I've found worked best as well. So keep it away. Obviously, don't get it really, really hot. That will damage things. And don't get it burning your hand or anything like that. But essentially, go and warm it up. You could always go and put your iPad outside if it's a sunny country you live in or something like that. Once again, do just be very careful with this as you don't want to get it over hot and cause any type of problems which could go and damage it. So what you want to do is go and get it warm. And then once it's warmed up, you want to try charging it again. So just go and grab the cable and you want to go and plug it in. And what you're gonna do is go and let it charge as you usually would. And then hopefully it will go and start powering up. So what you wanna do is just go and be patient for that. If it still doesn't, you want to try doing another force restart. So you can come onto the volume rockers, press the upper volume button, the lower one, and you can tap and hold the power button again. And then hopefully this time it'll go and turn on. Once again, it may take around 20 seconds for this to go and happen. So hopefully it will then come and start charging. Let's go be patient while it goes and charges. And if it still doesn't go and solve the problem, then what you may need to do is go and take the iPad to the Apple store because there may be a problem with the battery, which is most likely, and then they can go and replace it or do another fix and you'll then be able to go and use it again. I know a lot of people have this problem with older iPads and when you don't go and use it for a long time, the battery can go and degrade. And especially just over time with older devices, batteries do go and degrade as well. So you may just need to go and get it replaced and then you'll be able to go and use it again. That's it. Hopefully with the help of this video, you've managed to go and solve the problem. So to go and summarize, you can try using a different cable and power block and adapter. The second thing you should try doing is going and inspecting the port as often dust, debris and other things are going to get in there, which blocks the connectors. And you can go and clear that out with a soft brush or a toothpick or whatever you need. Really do this very carefully as you can go and cause damage to the port. Also go and inspect the cable as well in case there's any dust or debris in there. And the next thing you can try doing is doing a force restart in case there's some type of software problem, which is causing a problem. And you can do that with it out charging and with it charging. And then what you can try doing as well is warming up the iPad in case there's some type of problem with the battery, which is going and stopping it from charging. And last of all, go and take it to the Apple store where hopefully they'll be able to go and replace the problem. So if you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We've got a lot more videos about iPads amongst iPhones and literally everything you can think of on the channel. So I'm sure you'll go and find it useful. And I look forward to help you again with more useful guides like this in the future.